New at five. If you are looking for a flower that's easy to grow and keep up with this fall, perennials may be the plant for you. WDSU meteorologist Quaylen Murphy has more on why this is the ideal time of the year to plant. The fall season is just around the corner, and lucky for you, now is a great time to give some low maintenance perennials a healthy start. A few plants you may want to try this time of year are the perennial salvias. Uh, lantanas, believe it or not, would be a very good plant to plant this time of year. Uh, Coreopsis, uh, a real popular verbena is one called Homestead Purple. Uh, that does very well for us when planted in the fall. Uh, Shasta daisies. And then uh, people think about Louisiana iris and daylily. Dr. Owing says fall is actually the ideal time of the year to plant. Uh, many people by uh, Labor Day, mid September, early October still are not in the planting mode. But if you do plant this time of year, you can actually be more successful than if you would plant in the spring. One of the benefits to fall is the drop in temperatures, especially at night. That's going to really favor uh, plant growth as opposed to night temperatures in the 70s and daytime highs in the 90s. Uh, high temperatures in the uh, 80s during the day, 50s and 60s at night are very good for plant growth this time of year. Many trees, shrubs, bedding plants, and herbaceous perennials do very well when planted in the fall. Dr. Owing says it's all about root growth. You can get your plants very well established, and then you're going to grow roots all the uh, winter time. And then by the time plants want to flower and grow foliage next spring, they'll have the root system down to support the plant growth. On average, the New Orleans area experiences 219 sunny to partly sunny days in a year, but the sun is just one element necessary for success. Uh, we need to uh, um, mulch plants well after we plant. Uh, some plants this time of year could benefit from a little bit of fertilization, but many plants would prefer to be uh, fertilized next spring. If you get started now, just think. So next spring, the uh, regrowth is going to start uh, fertilized late February, early March, and you'll have you some great butterfly gardening plants for next spring. I'm meteorologist Quaylen Murphy, WDSU News.